Jamarco Norby, Associate Curator of Native American Art here at the Met, and I want to acknowledge that as an indigenous woman of Kudapacha descent, I am a guest here in Lenape Hoking, like many of you. Echoing the gratitude of my colleagues, I want to thank first the members of the Pueblo Pottery Collective for having the courage to share all of their meaningful and deeply personal stories connected to the works in this exhibition. Their stories are rich and beautiful, and like Max, I urge all of you to engage with at least a few of them um, while you have time today. For instance, the story of this incredible pot that um, you see here um, in front of the gallery entrance, created by Lani Vigil from Nambe Pueblo, um, on his kitchen table. Everything you see in this exhibition is all hand-built, hand-coiled, um, hand-painted, and then pit-fired by the community members. So it's really quite, um, the technical feats that are featured here are really quite um, incredible. The aesthetic um, richness of these works and also the diversity that you will encounter in these gallery spaces. I also want to thank my SAR, Vilcek, and my colleagues, everyone, and I can't name everyone because I was only given two minutes to speak, <laughs> um, who worked on this project. It has been an incredible journey the past couple of years, and I have been extremely honored to work with all of you. Thank you for everything you do. Finally, I want to thank our Met leadership, Max Holine and Sylvia Yunt, for their support of this very important project, their openness to a fresh exhibition approach, and their belief in me, so thank you. Now, a few nuts and bolts about the exhibition. A main goal of this project was to prioritize the perspectives and experiences of Pueblo community members, individual artists and community curators, rather than the standard institutional ownership and museum speak. So you will notice that all of the texts throughout the exhibition are written um, in community voice, um, written by the Pueblo Pottery Collective. Also, we have taken a very diverse approach to presenting exhibition information and making it accessible to everyone. Visitors have multiple ways to engage with the community perspectives, as well as information about the individual works on view through labeled chats, the exhibition website, the exhibition catalog, which is absolutely stunning, and the digital guide, um, which I encourage all of you to um, take part, take part um, in engaging with. And, then, and that's um, available via the, the in-gallery QR code and also courtesy of the Vilcek Foundation. There are 56 clay works, um, and they are organized according to four themes, um, ancestors, utility, connections, and elements. Don't miss the five wonderful hand-braided, hand-coiled um, yucca rings that were made by, also made by community members, which act as traditional mounts for balancing a few of the works and four contemporary commissioned works by DeHaven, Solomon Chapins, Mallory Kitaki, Michael Naminha, and Matteo Romero, which all speak to the local lands and landscape, environmental issues, and I like to refer to them as the rock and roll moments of the exhibition. <laughs> um, a few key element designs are um, these, this important wall of thank yous from all of the Pueblo Pottery um, Collective members and all of the languages um, representing the Pueblo communities um, who are present in this exhibition. And, and then I just want to say one last thing. Oh, and also the stepped lightning shelves that um, support um, and uplift the water jars that you'll see. And this is what I want to say um, in closing. Change often happens in the most quiet ways. Just a few weeks ago in the early morning sunlight, two semi-trucks pulled up to the Met's loading dock filled with these incredible works, many of which have only been on view um, one time. It was deeply moving to stand together with the Met team, SAR and Vilcek um, colleagues, and also public, Pueblo community members as they offered a blessing to welcome the POTS to New York and to the Met and Vilcek Foundation. I realized at that moment that not only was the Met working diligently to amplify indigenous perspectives and cultural knowledge, but that this project and these pots, which are considered living beings by public communities who created them, had brought all of us together and encouraged us to grow and embrace a new and meaningful way to highlight indigenous experiences in our galleries. So I thank all of you for being here today and please enjoy the exhibition. Thank you.